Hi, this is Una Faye on Culture Radio, and, and today we're going to talk about subjects ra- um, ranging from marine biology to music. And today, and now we're going to start with Ella and, and Rebecca talking about cruelty to animals. Welcome back to Culture Radio. I am Ella Darcy, and I'm here today with Rebecca Gregan at the Gorey School of Art. We are here today to discuss, dis- <laughs> discuss cruelty to animals. First of all, Rebecca, what is your opinion on animals? <coughs> well, I'm a big fan of animals. I have two dogs, a rabbit and a horse. Wow, you have a lot of pets. What would you say is your favourite pet? I love my dogs. Their names are Freddy and Roxy. Very good. So, you love your pets? Yes, I really do. And sometimes Roxy even sleeps at the end of my bed. It sounds like you take very good care of them. What would you say if you seen someone not taking good care of their pets? Ugh, I hate seeing animals in distress because it really bothers me. Yeah, me too. Tell me what you know about pugs. Oh, it's awful what they're doing to pugs. I know, right? It's very cruel. I've even adopted two pugs and paid for their operations to help with their breathing and to open up their airways. Oh, that's a very nice thing to do. I adopted a bulldog for the same reason. Oh, that's very good of you to help. Thanks. Oh, sorry. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining with me. Uh, No problem. Thank you for having me here today. Okay. This is Una Faye again, and later today I had an interesting chat with um, with Oscar, and he knew a lot about Louis Armstrong. So, Oscar, can you tell me something, some interesting facts about Louis Armstrong? Well, Louis Armstrong took jazz to a new level. Like originally it was Dixieland, but he put in the new level, and he called it. Mm, so it was originally called jazz. Jazz. But, yeah. Sounds like and the then, name of a really weird band. I know. And then afterwards, uh, the Americans, they changed it into jazz. Because that sounds jazzy, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it just kind of changed like that. And then, so that's how the name kind of changed. And, okay, back to Louis Armstrong. Well, <coughs> um, uh, I like Louis Armstrong because he kind of influenced me in my playing Oh, I don't play the dr- the trumpet, but I play the drums and piano, which he influenced me a lot, especially the piano. I kind of play along with his recording recordings, and he's uh, a very well known jazz player. What do you What do you think is your favorite song by him? That's uh, hard. I kind of have two. One is that he composed was uh, called one is called Muscat Ramble. How does uh, it go? Like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this other one called Gut Book of Blues I'm learning at the moment on the piano. Is it hard to learn like the songs by Louis Armstrong on the piano? Well, they're not hard. As, if you know the blues, like a kind of yeah. tw- n- normal 12-bar blues, like, which I know, um, and, ma- and kind of improvise on it you, and just make it up, basically. And then afterwards, you, it's kind of the same on the piano when you're playing his tunes. It's not really the same notes, so it's easy enough. So is there anything else you'd like to talk about, um, about Louis Armstrong? Well, I'd like to talk about maybe his Hot Five. Yeah, so talk about that. Well, when he first started his Hot Five, there was no such thing as drums. Really? He didn't have drums at the time, so he brought in a, a, a banjo player, and he had a trombone player, Um. And also in one of his things, uh, the guitar was actually only started uh, to be made in that time. Really? And, yeah, and the uh, uh, banjo player started playing the one, one of the tunes with the you know, guitar. guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Pronounce it properly, please. Guitar. Okay. And then um, there's this other player, and he's a trombone player. He's a... What's his name? I uh, can't remember his name. I'm not really good with the name, bad names. But, um, and he had a, a clarinet player, which kind of played the, like the... Clarinet? Yeah. Well, played the kind of the side kind of tune if he was playing it. And basically all the instruments that come together uh, basically are like in the Africans, they used to play kind of like kind of like each one had a totally different rhythm when you put them together, but they put it into notes. 
So they all made it into notes, and that's how the Dixieland music started coming in. Okay, thank you, Oscar, for talking to us about Louis Armstrong. I think that's all we have for today. So thank you for coming. Bye. Thanks. Now we're going to talk about marine biology with Justin and Jack. Hi, I'm Jack Bergen, and today I'm talking to Justin about his specialist interest, which is marine biology. So what interests you about marine biology, Justin? Um, I think it's very interesting, and I uh, think it's more interesting uh, to first of all see stuff, uh, things about the world that we live in. And um, most of the planet is obviously uh, covered in water, so I think it's very interesting. And what careers or where would you like to go and see? Um, well, I really do like mar uh, marine bi biology and I really want to go study it in uh, Germany and uh, maybe want to go to Australia. Are there any colleges in Ireland that offer marine biology? Um, marine biology here in Ireland is um, offered by National University of Ireland in Galway then the uh, University College in Cork and the Galway County Mayor Institute of Technology. And uh, what, what would you do when you were a marine bi biologist? A marine biologist is someone who studies all types of sea creatures and uh, can choose uh, to specialise in studying large ocean animals and all the way down to microscopic organisms. Everything from whales to the, to the plankton they eat and everything else in between can be and studied. What would be the salary for the, a marine biologist? It's, I'm assuming that's pretty expensive. Um, <laughs> well, you can definitely start off by uh, 14,000 euro a year and go up to 161,000. So it's pretty, pretty big. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all we have time for today. So thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> now we're going to talk about how music influ inf influenced our lives with, with Jack and Kate. Yo, what's cracking, Jackin? Um, <laughs> so, so I'm here to I'm interviewing you about music. Yep. Um, so who be your favorite artists then? Uh, my favorite artists are in hip hop and electronics. So I really like uh, Daft Punk and Gorillaz and. Uh, I like some French mu French language music, which is like Stromae and stuff. But my favorite artist is Kanye West because he does everything in between. Because he's the Kanye best. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what sort of impact does like Kanye's music and Daft Punk and all have on you? Uh, everything that I do from my art to my way of thinking has really been influenced. So I've learned to kind of believe myself and believe in myself and do whatever I want and uh, just to, you know not care about what other people say and do because they really don't and that's what you know gets them to where they are uh, and um so what sort of imp i mean i've already asked you that um <laughs> what sort of upcoming albums are you excited for this year um well i i really don't expect too many albums but i know he's announced a few so at, at once which is kind of a enthralling so ah <laughs> uh, so um what's your favorite album from this year or previous like uh, well, my favorite albums from this year would probably be Daytona or Swimming by uh, Pusha T and Mac Miller, and then uh, obviously the Kanye one, so Yay and Kidsy Ghost. Ah, sick. <laughs> um, so then, like, what sort of stuff have you learned from albums you've listened to and stuff? Um, so many things can be different and new, and it's great to appreciate and be open minded, you know, to everything that's included into new songs, and you know, just to like, not expect anything. Have you always had this passion for music, or is it a new thing in the last couple of months or so? Um, no, not really. Like, it's, it's always been there because my dad is a DJ, so he's always had that kind of interest, and he's really big into reggae and Britpop and all these mad things. And then my mom's really arty, but she's into all the cheesy stuff. And then my sister is really into, like, rock and metal, and so it's kind of everywhere with my family. Ah, so you've got lots of different influences coming at you from lots of different places. Yeah, so it, it keeps me open-minded. <laughs> ah, sick. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> See you. Now I'm going to talk with, with Leonie about um, TY year and how interesting it could be. So, Leonie, um, tell us what goes on um, during um, 
transition year? So in transition year, we do the mini companies and Junkature. So what is um, what do you do in the mini companies and Junkature? In the mini companies, we try to make our new, like our own business, such as like um, like making bracelets and stuff like that. Either making our stuff that we are skilled for and like to do and want to sell. And what is junk couture? I think I junk couture is making dresses or just fashion out of recycled materials. And I've heard that you go on like trips and and stuff um, uh, during um, transition year. Like, what do you, where do you go? Um, yeah, we went or were supposed to go to Italy. What happened? In, in March. What happened? Um, well, I'm not going there anymore, so other people in my class are. Is there anything else that you, um, that you do for a transition year? Yeah, they have loads of little trips in and around Ireland. Like? Like the Irish trip. <laughs> and they have bonding trips and everything going on there. So a lot of bus rides. Yeah. At least. I... Well, that's all we have for today. And so thank you for listening to Culture Radio. So goodbye from Unifay.